Hello all. How is it going? Welcome to this video lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to learn how to connect to MySQL with Oracle SQL Developer. So let us get started. So open the Oracle SQL Developer. And click on create new connection. Here, as you can see that there is no option for creating a MySQL connection. So we need to make sure that the option for creating a new MySQL connection is enabled. So that can be done by using connection J jar file. If you remember at the time of installation of MySQL on windows, we had selected connection slash J for installation and it has been installed automatically onto our windows computer. So first of all, we need to find out the location where it has been installed. So that is quite easy. Go to MySQL installer, click on the search bar in the windows and type MySQL installer. So this is the utility which manages all the MySQL and related products. So it is going to ask you for admin permission. So this is the window where we can see all the installed MySQL products. So connector slash J is already installed and as you can see it is even telling us the location where it has been installed so go to c colon program files mysql so let us go to c colon program files x86 and mysql directory and here we can see connector j 8.0 so this is the jar file that we were looking for just copy this path or remember this path, we are going to need it later. So let us go back to SQL developer. And go to tools, go to preferences. And here in preferences, we need to go to database. In database, we will find an option third party JDBC driver. So this third party JDBC driver is this connect connector slash J jar file. So you can go ahead and add an entry for that. So I will repeat all the steps again, go to the tools and go to preferences, go to database and then go to third party party JDBC driver. Once you are here, go to add entry and from here navigate to C colon program file 36 mysql and connector j 8.0 and finally mysql connector java 8.0.12 dot jar okay and then after selecting this just click select say okay and we are done now if you try to open new connection you will be able to see a tab for creating a new mysql connection so go here and name the connection say local mysql01 so the instance running on mysql uh, the mysql instance running on local machine and the name of that instance is supposed to be mysql01 the username is test user and if you remember that we had created a password for that that is test one, two, three. So check this option, save password and click test connection. It says test connection failed because the property zero date time behavior acceptable values are convert to null, accept or round. It seems that the connection failed because um, we did not set this thing. Let's test it. Yeah, now the connection is success. It seems that the connection was failing because we had uh, chosen this value that zero date handling was set to null. And when we tried to test the connection, it was creating the trouble for us. Okay. So now when we rounded it to uh, 0001 hyphen 01 hyphen 01. Okay. So the first day of the January of the year 1 AD uh, for the zero date handling, it was actually showing us the success message. 
Okay, so now if you test it, it is going to show us the success message. Go ahead and choose the connection color. Let us choose blue connection color for MySQL and let us save this connection. So now if you can see here, you are able to see local MySQL 01. Okay, so I have created two other connections which are Oracle database connections, which are not related to MySQL. So we have already tested it and it was showing success. Now if we just go ahead and click connect, yes, we are able to see now MySQL, uh, MySQL window. Okay, so now if you click here, it will be showing us all the schemas or you can even use the usual commands. You can just type show data basis and it is going to show you the list of all the databases available in your schema or uh, it will uh, show you the list of all the databases or schemas available in the instance. So as you can see here, information schema, MySQL, performance schema, Sakila, Sys and World. So out of these, Sakila and World are the sample databases or sample schemas and we can just use this MySQL developer for creating and running the queries uh, just as we are using MySQL Workbench for uh, our MySQL's SQL practice. So this is how we can connect to MySQL database with Connector J and Oracle SQL developer. So try to configure your own SQL developer um, instance for connecting to MySQL installed on your system or uh, running remotely just by following the instructions in this video tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. In case uh, you have any query, just let me know. Thanks a lot again. See you in the next video lecture.